So we now know who's going to be in the Super Bowl representing the NFC and the AFC. It's Philadelphia Eagles for the NFC and the Kansas City Chiefs for the AFC. So that being said, the Washington Commanders will probably have to wait for another couple of weeks before they can interview offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy who seems to be on their radar and seems to have emerged as their number one prospect to replace uh, the fired Scott Turner, uh, Washington's offensive coordinator for the past couple of seasons. So if Eric Bieniemy is Washington's number one offensive coordinator prospect, what is all of this stuff going around that Rex Ryan is saying? There was a news story that Rex Ryan is saying, wait a minute, with this new ownership change likely to happen, let's forget about this whole Eric Bieniemy thing. Let's forget about this whole Ron Rivera thing for that matter. Let's focus on the fact that there's going to be new ownership and new coaching and yet a new quarterback in Washington in 2023. Yes, Rex Ryan says, watch Tom Brady and Sean Payton go to the commanders if the quarterback doesn't join the Raiders. Rex Ryan was pretty adamant that he he feels like that the Washington Commanders could be a dark horse for the marriage of Tom Brady and Sean Payton going to Washington. He says, I'm telling you, <coughs> excuse me, I'm telling you, watch the Washington Commanders in this. Here's why I say it could happen. There's a strong possibility that there's going to be a change in ownership. And when that happens... These owners aren't tied into that coach. And to me, I can see a Sean Payton, Tom Brady. We talk about M Miami. Well, it wasn't just Miami contacting Brady. It was Sean Payton. It was going to be that marriage of those two. So I could possibly see that down the road, if he doesn't sign with the Raiders immediately, I could see this as a possibility. Well, folks... Now, I would love, okay, I, I could definitely see and I could definitely love the idea of Sean Payton coming to Washington. I, I definitely could see that because Sean Payton is one of those coaches that I feel like I'm still shocked that you know he, he's, he's no longer the Saints coach, honestly. Some people may feel like, well, you know, of course, you take away Drew Brees, and what do you have with Sean Payton? Kind of like you take away Tom Brady from Bill Belichick, and what Bill Belichick had, had been nearly as successful. Well... You could possibly say the same thing about Bill Walsh. Would Bill Walsh have been as successful without Joe Montana or Steve Young? <clears throat> um, you know, Chuck Noll, would he have been as successful without Terry Bradshaw? You know, the list goes on and on. You know, the, surprisingly enough, the only coach that we can say yes, would have been successful without a franchise quarterback would have been who? Joe Gibbs. Joe Gibbs was the only one who was able to take his team and win the Super Bowl with multiple quarterbacks. But I don't, obviously, even with ownership change, I don't see this happening for the logistics of this. Ownership change is not likely to happen until March. By that point, you have the new league year starting because you have to wait until 
Well, maybe you don't, but in all likelihood, you do have to wait until the new league year when the owners meet and they'll be able to vote on the new ownership change at that point. Likely they'll be unanimous in the the vote. So with that said, you've already started your scouting, your, your free agency, you're getting ready for the draft. That is not the time that you fire your head coach, your coaching staff, all of that. As a new owner, you can't do that because you're you're gonna for one thing, you're gonna set your your new coach up failure because you can't install a new coaching regime at that point. I mean, they have to be able to have a plan put in place for free agency, for the draft. I mean, literally, they would have to go with the same players that are already on the team. They would not be able to draft anybody. Well, let me put it to you this way. They they would probably have to go best player available at that position because they would not be able to really have a plan, a solid plan put in place. You're, you're literally setting them up for failure at that point. You'd have to go with the, the same coaching staff. I mean, you do. Even though that you're probably expecting to get rid of everybody, you can't just get rid of everybody at that point. It, it's not going to work. Now, if there was a new ownership regime that came in, let's say, in December, then that's a different story. You can clean house at that point, well, you know, at the end of the season, and then it's more realistic. Yes, we're going to bring in Sean Payton. We're going to try to get Tom Brady. You know, new owner, you know, new new ownership, new coaching regime, all of that clean slate. The new coaches are going to be able to put their plan in place. That's a lot more realistic. But at this point, it doesn't matter. So Sean Payton is not going to go to the commanders in all likelihood in 2023. Uh, Much to the dismay of probably a lot of commanders fans, because I know he is a well sought after coach. Um, And right now, Even Sean Payton says that he's probably 70% likelihood to go back to Fox in this offseason or for next season then to coach. So he's leaning back toward that, which actually could be good news for the Commanders, for the Commanders fans, if you're wanting Ron Rivera out. Assuming, let's say... The commanders, you know, they, they go through another mediocre eight-win season and miss the playoffs. In all likelihood, Ron Rivera is gone. Then you are in play for Sean Payton because at that point, Sean's likely he's going to step back on the field and coach again. But you're probably not going to have Tom Brady at that point. Tom Brady's going to retire. At some point, Tom Brady's going to retire. So, you do you really need him at that point? Maybe the bright spot will be that Sam Howe plays really well and proves that he's quarterback number one and the future for the Washington Commanders, which honestly would be a great thing. I would rather take that than a, you know, a Tom Brady that's going to give you one year. I'd rather have a, a good Sam Howe that's going to give you at least the next 10, 12 years, as opposed to the other. So, that being said, this thing with Rex Ryan saying that a new ownership is going to bring in Sean Payton and Tom Brady, logistically, I don't see how that could be possible. Unless that new ownership comes in now, gets voted in now, and... This week, they're like, thanks but no thanks to Ron Rivera and 
cleans house at that point. Maybe all that can happen, but that would have to happen like now, honestly, because as a as a coaching regime, as a coaching staff, you've got to have everything installed and ready to go before the new league year, before the season, all that, of course. So you got to have a plan put, put in place. It just doesn't happen, you know, right away, willy and nilly, right? So I don't see how logistically that can happen. But anyway, let me know in the comments section what you think. Like this video, please. It helps the algorithm. Um, need all the help I can get. Share this video with your friends. Let me know what, what they think. Um, comment. Let's talk about it. Uh, logistically, I don't think this would happen, but tell me how, how you think it could possibly happen that Sean Payton and Tom Brady could actually be on the Commanders in 2023. Folks, take care. I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.